users and consumer watchdogs slamming Mark Zuckerberg and his company for pushing a plan that effectively allows them to sell your private information to third-party vendors. So let me be brief. Is this right? Is this fair? Attorney Esther Panich says that others have signed their privacy uh, when they signed up uh, to uh, Facebook. Regina Vanakis uh, disagrees. Regina, your view on this is what? Fair, unfair, what? Totally unfair. This is a site that began by connecting people to other people or friends, not advertisers to users lists. The people that started out on Facebook did not have any clue that this information was going to be used in any other way. Therefore, they cannot be said to have Im implied to agree with what Mark Zuckerberg wants them to do. It's completely unfair. That is not what was about to begin with. Now, um, if that were the case, then you would sue on behalf of users who, who felt that they were violating their privacy? Yeah, because the issue here is not only if you close your account, you think it's gone, it's not gone. Facebook keeps that for up to a year. They keep that information, and that information could still be getting decimated. So that could still be all over the web, even though you close the account. So I think at that point, you could absolutely file a lawsuit on behalf of your privacy rights being violated, however, not sure what the damages would be. Esther, you say not so. No, of course not. You signed a user agreement that, you know, the user signs a user agreement. Frankly, nobody should be putting up information that they don't expect the entire world to see. I always tell my kids, don't put anything out there that you don't want me to read because I'm going to read it. And so if you're going to be embarrassed yeah, but by if I it give or it on shamed Facebook, by it, don't Esther, post it. I understand what you're saying, but if I give it to Facebook and then Facebook enters into business agreements with a host of third-party players, maybe dozens of them as the years go on, and they all have the same information. I didn't sign up for that with Facebook originally. Well, it's, Absolutely. People need, to read the, people need to read their user agreement. I believe Facebook has never guaranteed anybody's actual privacy that nobody else would be able so to get So, Esther, you're saying they're in so, their legal right. This is a slippery question to correct. ask a lawyer, and I love lawyers. Nothing against you two fine ladies. But it <laughs> is, is it morally right? Is it morally right? It's not morally right. right. That's why the Federal Trade Commission sued If you are entering, them. if you are entering a contract with someone, you are participating. There's a free market out there. If you don't like Facebook's privacy policy, go find another social media. Social media is just Again, that. The federal social. It's not intended to be between one person and another person. It's for to share. And when you're sharing, you never know where it's going to end. So Regina, would it be you're sharing, sharing, sharing but, you know, federal trade. Trade. but Regina, would it be like that? Well, you know, the days of enjoying Listen, your privacy, no. if you're on the internet, get over it. That's not real anymore. You can't no, be, the you Federal can't Trade Commission sued them. They entered a lawsuit because they were deceiving their clients. They cannot change their privacy policies without the consent of the people that are on there already. People that signed up 10 years ago didn't agree to Instagram. Why should we have to put up with this? Just because I'm on social media and I shared a picture with somebody in my family or something, all of a sudden I've agreed to be involved with Instagram or any other business Facebook wants? It's outrageous. No, when you when you put something out there, you have to assume it's going to stay out there forever for anybody to see. So it, I, I don't believe I the argument born, that I just I want to send you, it to I, my no, no, family. No, I tell you, when you know when when a comment up for one dedicated site and or picture then goes out way beyond that dedicated site. Um, that goes it's, a little it's going bit beyond. to come down to the contract. It's going to come down to the user agreement that that particular user entered into at that time. Right. And if there is, it's a private company well, and Mark Zuckerberg has the right to do Maybe we should read the fine print because the fine print never said, I don't know, but, but Regina, the fine print never said to me, your life is an open book for all the books we sign up with. The fine print keeps changing with Facebook. That's the problem. Well, That's why they got sued. That's why the Federal Trade Commission said they were violating people's rights and that they okay. couldn't do that anymore. And they couldn't tell you, guess what, your, your stuff's going to be private, but not really.